Hello and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this video I will show you how you can sync the slicers for multiple pages within the Power BI. So think about a scenario where you have a need where you have a slicer or a filter which you want to utilize on multiple pages but now uh, you have a scenario where in certain cases you want to display the filter and in certain cases you don't want to do it so sync slicers is an option which gives us this flexibility where you can basically have a control whether you on how many pages you want to specify and whether you want to display the slicer on multiple pages or not so it's an interesting option and it's very useful in scenarios where you have some custom needs based on the filtering that you are applying in your power bi report so let's see how we can do that and before i show you just a quick information that uh, this this sheet is present in the description so that you can easily search all of my power bi tutorial video which i have posted earlier and uh, jump to that video using the link which is present over here all right so before i move just quick thing is spelling mistake power and that should be good okay all right so over here why are you not coming okay there you go so let's move on now with the tutorial so over here what i have is a simple metric and if you see in page two and in page three we have the same metric where we have subcategory sales and profit and i can even increase the size if it is too small to view it uh, go into the values and increase the size to whatever we want right uh, so there you go and over here also you have the same values if you will see now what i'll do is i will apply a filter so to apply a slicer we will come over here and click on slicer so over here a slicer is present and i will add a field and i will add a very simple field just so that i i will keep it simple i will add orders sorry the categories in the orders tip from the orders table so what i have is the furniture office supplies and technology and if possible i will increase the size of these as well okay properly visible now right so now if i filter the furniture over here the furniture is filtered here but over here nothing is happening so if you have a need where based on the filtering that you are doing over here with the help of the slicer you want to apply it on another page or multiple pages then you can utilize the power of sync filters or the sync slicers so sync slicers present over here in view and in the view you have this sync slicer pane so once you click on this a sync slicer will be coming over here and if i select over here the slicer you will see that over here with this slicer is present in the page two as you can see this is view and this is sync right so this is the slicer which is present and now i can enable to any page i want let's say i want to enable it for page three so what i'll do i will just click over here so one way is syncing it up so i'll just click here and you will see what will happen so by default if i click here this is also enabled so if this is enabled i'll go to the page three then you will see the same slicer is coming right so over here whenever we do a filtering this is changed and this is over here is not changing because this is also need to be in sync with this so over here if you see if i click on page two this is basically syncing with page three but now the page three slicer is also visible so if i click it over here and if i click on this sync then the impact will come so if i select technology over here then you will see the technology is present in the page two if i'm selecting furniture over here now the page three will also be showing you the furniture now a scenario may happen where let's say i don't want to show it 
this this particular slicer in page three but i just want to keep it in here in the page two and just make sure that whatever i'm applying on the page two is applying it over here but i don't want to show this filter to the user let's say we are keeping a setting that in page two you have the global filters which is impacting other sheets or all the sheets then in that case in from page three what we can do is we can remove this visibility of the filter right so what it is doing it is basically syncing up the page two filter with page three but it is not changing any but it will not you will not be able to view anything or any slicer so just uncheck this this is a view section and that way the filter will be disappeared now let's go to the page two and over here we will now make a selection which will going to impact the page three as well select the office supplies and we have this appliances art binders and all and in page three even though the filter nothing is present the value is filtered over here so that's what i mainly wanted to show you the configuration of the sync slicers like what do you want to make it visible where do you want to sync it on which pages like we have dashboard one two three four five page one tool tab, page three all of this is present here and we can be very custom and very choosy in terms of what we want to do but my advice is that keep it very simple i mean keep few filters let's say in the first page as global filters which is impacting other sheet but if you will use a too many options then it will confuse your end user and that is not a good experience that you want to have it or a feedback you want to have it so the functionality is present choose it uh, use it wisely and the idea and the advice is that few filters keep it global and the rest of it keep it specific to your sheet that you want so with that thank you so much for watching and i'll meet you in the next video with the new topic